here we have a circle and within this circle we have some angles. Now we need to find angle ACP and angle ABP. Now how can we find these two angles? Well for that we will have to use a certain theorem of circles. So what is that theorem? Well let's see in the previous lecture we have learned that if a line touches a circle and from the point of contact a chord is drawn the angles between the tangent and the chord are respectively equal to angles in the corresponding alternate segments so if this is the tangent and this is the chord then the angle made by the tangent with the chord will be equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Angle made by the tangent with the chord will be equal to angle in the alternate segment. So in this case we can say that angle BAP is equal to angle BPR. BAP this angle is equal to angle BPR and angle BCP angle B CP this angle is equal to angle BPQ this particular angle which is the angle made by the tangent with the chord. Now using this particular theorem we can solve the question which we just discussed. So in this case we need to find angle ACP and angle ABP. So in this case we need to find angle ACP and angle ABP. So first of all we have angle ABP is equal to angle APQ. Now why do I say so? Because if we consider this particular chord AP and the tangent QR then what do we see? Well this is the angle made by the tangent and the chord which is angle APQ. Now from the theorem we know that this angle will be equal to angle in the alternate segment. Now in this case what is the angle in the alternate segment? This angle which is angle ABP. So we can say that ABP is equal to angle APQ. Now if we substitute the value of angle APQ, it is given it is 60 degrees. So angle ABP will be equal to 60 degrees. Now we also know that angle APR is equal to 180 degrees minus angle APQ. Why do I say so? Let's see. We are talking about angle APR. So APR. So we are talking about this particular angle. Now this particular angle is equal to 180 degrees minus angle APQ. Why do I say so? Because QR is a straight line. So this is a straight angle and it is made up of two angles angle APR and angle APQ. So we can say that angle APR that is this particular angle will be 180 degrees this complete angle minus this angle here which is angle APQ. Now if we substitute the value of angle APQ so what do we get? Angle APR is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees or angle APR is equal to 120 degrees. So we know that angle APR that is this angle is equal to 120 degrees. Now we also know that angle APR will be equal to angle ACP. Why do I say so? Because if we consider this particular angle, angle APR, then this is the angle made by the tangent and the chord AP. 
Now the same chord AP makes this angle in the alternate segment. So this and this angle will be equal that is angle APR will be equal to angle ACP. So from this we get angle ACP is equal to 120 degrees because angle APR is 120 degrees and both are equal. So angle ACP is equal to 120 degrees and we have already found out ABP in the first part of the equation that is angle ABP is 60 degrees. So angle ACP is 120 degrees and angle ABP is 60 degrees. So this angle is 120 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees and we were able to find these values with the help of the theorem which states that the angle made by a tangent and a chord passing through the point of contact is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all learning resources as per ICSE, CBSE, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You also get amazing prizes like PlayStations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.